you know professional bass fishermen put a lot of miles on their truck every year uh, but we also put a lot on our boat and it's really important for us to be in touch with what's going on with our motor what kind of fuel consumption i've got yamaha digital gauges on my boat three important things i look at of course i look at you know engine temperature and water pressure and that stuff but i'm not so much worried about that unless i hear an alarm what i am worried about is how many gallons i've burned knowing what size fuel tank i have how many miles i've gone and then for just being efficient, you know, driving the boat is what kind of gallons per hour I'm getting and at what speed and, you know, trim level am I getting the most efficiency out of this motor. So what's really nice about all those things is you can reset the mileage and uh, reset the gallons used. So every time I fill up, I reset it. And it just allows me to keep a good eye when I make those long runs, knowing when I need to either get fuel or when I need to turn around and start heading back to the ramp. All right, so on this side right here, you can see this is uh, how many gallons I've burned. And I haven't reset this in a while. I haven't had a tournament that I needed to. Uh, but just to reset it, all you've got to do is hold down both buttons and we're back to zero. So if I had just filled up my boat this morning, this was all the way full, uh, I would do that, you know, and, and keep a good eye on what I'm burning. Uh, you can move up to the trip. This is how many miles I've gone. Haven't reset this in a long time. Uh, but if you want to, same deal, hold bo both buttons down, you're back to square one at zero miles. The last thing that I keep an eye on is the gallons per hour. And you can see as I uh, give it more throttle, that's gonna jump immediately. And you know, a lot of times people think that just going slow and kind of plowing around, you know, is the way to burn the least amount of fuel. And that's not necessarily the case. Your best, uh, best range is probably generally going to be between 4,000 and 4,500 RPMs. You know, just to get that boat out of the water, let that motor not work as hard, and you're getting the most speed and distance for what you're burning. So obviously max in, you're going to be burning some more fuel, and then plowing, you're going to be burning some fuel too. So just find that happy medium and get the most uh, fuel efficiency out of your outboard. <laughs>